Hey everybody, today uh, we're going to talk about AP Window. This is Scott Moss. Um, I'm a pediatric echo tech, have been for about 30 plus years. So I wanted to explain this one to you because it is a severe defect that can cause uh, a child to die rather quickly if you're not paying attention. So it's important to know what this looks like because if they don't fix it right away, the child could die of congestive heart failure. So uh, let's move on. So here's a picture of an AP window. Um, the window itself is uh, right here. And what it is, is it's a basically a, um, it's a communication that is between the pulmonary artery and the aorta and uh, as you can see by the size of it, it's much bigger than like a PDA is. Um, if you go back and look at what a PDA is, I did that one a long time ago. So just go back and maybe review that first. The PDAs are usually up here. Um, I'm sorry, I forgot to change. The PDAs are usually up here and they're much smaller. This, as you could see, would shunt a lot of blood from the aorta all the way over to the right ventricle and you know by a lot of blood I mean this is a significant shunt so you're gonna see this right ventricle get bigger rather quickly and then eventually the function is gonna suffer and if you don't do something about this AP window the child will die of heart failure so I hate to be so depressing right off the bat, but that's one of the things I wanted to tell you because it is important to recognize this defect when you see it. Okay, I have a quick definition of AP window. So it's the aorta pulmonary window is a rare congenital heart defect, defect in which there is a connection window between the aorta and the main pulmonary artery. This opening allows oxygenated blood to pass or shunt from the aorta into the pulmonary artery at a high pressure. Okay, on the left you can see a picture where they're basically showing you where they're going to zoom in on and on the right you can see obviously the area that they zoomed in on. So here's like they said the aorta and the pulmonary artery and uh, you can see the AP window right here. You can see the connection between the two. There should be no shunting here. It should just be closed off. There's, the wall should look like this. So obviously this is going to allow a, just a ton of blood to shunt forward into the pulmonary artery. Okay, here's another shot of the AP window, but this one is up a little higher. So most likely the flow is going to go directly into the lungs. Um, some of it will, I mean, automatically backwash into the RV2. But because it's up high, a good portion of it is going to go directly into the lungs, which is probably even more dangerous because that's going to cause a flooding of blood into the lungs and the baby's going to be in heart failure probably even quicker. So it's something that has to be looked at immediately in the sense of surgical procedures so if you do see this it's an it's just it's so important to get a hold of the peds cardiologist and tell them you need to come up here i think i see an ap window and then let the doc look at it and they'll take it from there and you know usually they notify the surgeon right away or they medevac the child out on a helicopter and Get them to some place where they can do the surgery rather quickly. So here's a picture of how they repair the AP window. I thought you might want to see this. Um, what they do is they make a incision in the aorta. So that's you know the incision is here, and they open it up. This is after the child is on bypass. Obviously, you can't do this without them being on bypass. And if I could show you, they, you know, they, they cut the uh, AP window here, which leaves a sizable hole in the aorta. So they use either a pericardial patch 
or sometimes maybe even a Dacron patch. I, I, I think that they prefer to use a pericardio patch most of the time. So they cut a little piece of the pericardium off and put it in here because that will grow with the child a little bit better than Dacron. So um, uh, Dacron actually gets kind of swallowed up by the tissue, but takes a little longer. So I, I'm pretty sure they prefer a pericardial patch. So they sew that in, and you can see the stitches here where they sew it in. And that goes all the way around to here, and it covers the hole. And then they sew up the aorta here on both sides and close it up. And uh, that's it. It's actually a relatively quick surgery to fix. because There's not a lot of rerouting. It's just a matter of fixing that hole. So it's kind of similar to fixing a big, big ASD or something like that, but it immediately gets the child out of the pulmonary, um, you know, flooding of the pulmonary artery and, and the pulmonary side of the heart causing heart failure. So that's pretty much all I got on AP window. AP window. And um, again, the main thing I need to explain to everybody is that this is a emergency. The bigger that window is, the more shunting is happening and the more the right side is going to go into failure. So make sure you contact the doctor as soon as possible and get them up there and uh, they'll take it from there. But you being able to recognize this is important because that sets everything in motion and they'll be able to take care of the baby. But if you miss this, the kid's going to go into the heart failure so fast, um, it's going to be really hard. So don't wait for the doctor to come and read the echoes for the day. Call the doctor and get them down there now to read the echo right away. In fact, I would call the doctor while I'm at the bedside to come look at it. If they give you a hard time, tell them it's an AP window or you think it's an AP window. That should get them moving. If it doesn't, go beat them with a stick or something. I don't know. Anyhow, hope you enjoyed this one. I'll try to get another one out as soon as I can. Have a good day.